uh, in my first encounter as a Star Trek fan. Yeah, and, Star, uh, Trek, uh, Star Trek, the the, uh, the motion picture. That was right, the first right. film, and he starred, um, he was on the bridge. He was actually the captain, and, uh, and, and Kirk was the admiral, or he was, he was like way up there. And then that yeah. was, yeah, that was also the film that I always talk about my ex-girlfriend about, who starred in it. Remember my ex-girlfriend? Oh, yes, Persis Kambata. There you one go. Of the most beautiful, yeah. One of the most beautiful yeah. women I've ever seen in my entire life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, she, she and, played the android in the crew with the bald head, the shaved head, look, just like you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> she, she did. Her, hair, her head was just like yours. Anyway, and she, uh, she wanted that part so much that she actually shaved her head. The other actresses put on the rubber, you know, the rubber, uh, um, yeah, the, uh, the rubber way. hat, and uh, yeah, she yeah. shaved. The, she shaved the head, and her head was perfect. The skin, the hair, the size, it was a perfect head. So it looked like it was a mechanical android head, and um, you know, she got the part. Uh, yeah, God bless was, her. She's still around. Uh, you know, she yeah. was, she died in 1998, and uh, I know that it was um, foul play, although in India where she died, in uh, Bombay, which is now called Mumbai, um, hmm. there was no death certificate. There was no, yeah. So the problem with her is that she, we're getting into the politics now, she hmm. was a an avid supporter of Indira Gandhi, who was oh, the Prime, yes. Prime Minister of India. And she uh, even even was going to play her in a real-life autobiographical motion picture. And she was going through all of that uh, when she started to be uh, threatened, her life, uh, oh. by the Sikhs. The Sikhs, you know, were the turbans and they're, they're, they're Muslim. And they hated her. And so if you were a follower of her, so they would actually taunt her here and, and they'd throw rocks to her windows. I was there one time, you know, because I was dating her and I was over mm -hmm. her place. And there was a rock went through the window with a, with a note on it that says, stop it. Meaning stop supporting Indira Gandhi. So she would actually go on campaign rallies with her. She'd fly to India and go on the plane with her and everything. She was close with Indira Gandhi. But and she was she was gone, you know, she was gone. So um you know, we miss her. We miss her. She came to a couple of night of the hundred stars, and then she moved to India because in India, which is the largest amount of motion pictures made in any country in the world is India, well over a 1,000 to, to 1,500 motion pictures, full-length motion pictures a year are, are made in India. There is a movie theater on every corner. Even in the jungles, there are movie theaters. Here is a photograph of Ursus Kambada, folks, right here. Um, that's her in the many guises. That's uh, Ed's uh, longtime lost friend in Paramore and uh, yeah. And all of her good beauty, and yeah, and, there she uh, is with hair. She's got, <laughs> she has, uh, yeah. she had beautiful hair too. But that's her, and this there's a center that's her and William Shatner presenting at the Academy Awards that year. That was 1980, and uh, I didn't meet her until 85, 1985, I think, where she uh, retained my company to do public relations for her. Uh, for motion pictures and other projects he was coming, you know, coming into. And, uh, you know, normally, um, you know, I don't uh, have relations with clients, but this one was, th this one was different. You know, this one was, um, we, we, we went, at, we went from client to friends and, you know, to lovers and, and, uh, we didn't have any problem with it. The problem that she had was physical and psychological. So there were demons, mm. and uh, they worked against her. And so we finally parted. 
and in in the early 90s and um we still kept in touch she kept a, a an apartment here off of sunset boulevard and um also had a home in her parents and or in 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 india and um uh, where she went back to but it was just still shocking about what happened there you know yeah it, I can talk, there's a whole show on that someday we'll do about how you know i i sent private investigators to india everything to find out what was really going on so i'm the only one that knows what really happened she was murdered and mm. you know others are saying that she she died of a massive heart attack and you know what at 40 40 something and 49. so yeah where's the where's the uh Where's the autopsy? No autopsy. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. No yeah. autopsy. No. No. And then they oh. get, when you go and ask for it, they get belligerent. So uh, there's no doubt in my mind that she was murdered. And they told her she, they were going to kill her, and they did. He didn't stop. So anyway, God bless her. Anyway, she was the Knight of the Hundred Stars. The first time that I met Marcy Weiner was mm -hmm. versus Kambada was at my side and we were all formaled out at the at the Beverly Hills Hotel for a charity event and one table over was Marcy Weiner and when she saw purses she just got up ran out of her chair ran over and uh, and and Purses was like, you know, who is this? Who is this woman? You know, and so I had to explain that she's a member of the press and the media. And, you know, she goes, oh, OK. So she, you know, Purses knew about the media and the power of the media. Yeah. And she was Miss India. She was the youngest Miss India ever. She goes, Miss India. I think she was only 15. She lied about her age. And then um, she received all kinds of modeling contracts in India and in New York. And she was really hot in New York. She wound up uh, uh, dating Henry Kissinger. She wound up dating Edward Kennedy. Then she did a movie with Stallone uh, and Rutger Auer's first movie here where they were detectives in New York. Uh, the title escapes me, but it was uh, Billy D. Williams also starred in it as the sidekick. You remember this movie? I remember. And yes, Persis sure played do. a terrorist. And Rooker Hour and Persis Kambada were a couple that were the worst terrorists you could imagine. And they were killing people in New York. This, oh my this was like in the mid, early, uh, I think it was 83 or 84, the movie came out.